So most people have already heard of the $2 trillion stimulus relief bill and how most Americans will be getting $1,200 per adult and $500 per child. But did you know that this bill also provides us with 11 other ways to receive essentially free money from the government? So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the 12 total ways that you can receive money from this stimulus relief bill. I'm going to go over how each way works, how much money you could be getting. Each way I'm going to go over, I'm going to keep it brief. I'm not going to get too dragged up into the details because I want to keep it concise. So anyways, let's get right into it. What's up everybody, Michael here, welcome back to another video. Before we get into today's video, it would mean a lot if you could like the video down below, leave a comment, and subscribe. It really helps out a lot with my channel. So anyways, let's get right into the 12 ways that you could be receiving essentially free money from the government, from the stimulus relief bill. Let's get right into the first way, which is the most obvious and the one that our, everyone already knows about, which is the stimulus relief checks. So the way the stimulus relief check works is that if you earn under $75,000 a year, you'll be receiving a $1,200 check from the government. And if you have a child, for every child you have, you'll be receiving $500. However, after you start earning of over $75,000 per year, the amount you will receive from the government starts to decrease until you reach $98,000. Once you go over that $98,000, you won't be receiving anything from the government. I'm not going to go over exactly how much it decreases and how much you'll be receiving, but all you have to do is search up an online calculator to figure out the exact dollar amount you have. So all you need to do to make sure that you get this check is that you file your taxes for 2018 and that if you are receiving Social Security, you also have to fill out the form as well. So the second way is through expanded unemployment benefits. So under the stimulus relief bill, whether you're self-employed, you're recently unemployed because of the coronavirus, or if you're an independent contractor, you can receive the benefits from this bill. Under this bill, you will receive 39 weeks worth of unemployed benefits. On top of that, you can also receive $600 every single week from the government through the end of July, which is around 13 weeks. So that means you're receiving two checks every single week from the government. And this is really helpful for a lot of Americans because nearly 3.3 million people recently filed for unemployment benefits. So make sure you look into receiving both of these checks from the government so you don't just receive your one unemployment paycheck from your company. You wanna make sure to receive the $600 every single week as well. So the third way is the Paycheck Protection Program. Under the stimulus relief bill, if you're a small business, you can qualify for this program. All you need to do to qualify is that you need to have 500 employees or less. And with this program, the government is approved to spend $350 billion on small businesses around the nation. Each business they can give up to $10 million. So if you have a small business and you need help covering payroll expenses, or any general expenses for your business to keep the business running, you can apply for this program and you can receive up to $10 million from the government. So the fourth way is through something called EIDL. And what this is, is Economic Injury Disaster Loan. It's a long term, but what it is, is that through the relief bill, the government is approved to give small businesses a loan of $10,000. And this can be paid immediately, within a couple of days. And this grant, does not have to be repaid. If you get the loan and you're approved, you never have to re repay it. So it's essentially free money for your business. All you need to do to qualify for this is again, be a small business with 500 employees or fewer. And also you need to have been in business since before January 30th, 2020. There are a couple other requirements that are pretty basic, like you need to be prepared to have tax forms filled out. But once you have those two basic requirements under 500 employees and you're in business since before January 30th, 2020, all you need to do is go apply and they'll give you some other requirements to see if you qualify. But essentially, this is a free money from the government because if you are approved, you never have to repay the $10,000. The fifth way is through paid sick and family leave. The government doesn't want people going to work just to receive their paycheck if they're going to spread the virus to more people. If you think you're sick, they want you to stay home. So under the stimulus relief bill, they're going to be giving you up to $511 per day 
if you are sick and have the virus. So this bill also expands upon the Family and Medical Leave Act. If you have kids who are at home and you need to be able to watch them and work from home or you can't go into work, well, under this bill, you'll be able to get receive $200 every single day for up to 50 days. So that is a total of $10,000. The sixth way is through charitable contributions. You may be thinking, well, how is me donating more money to people gonna make me more money? Well, let me explain. Without getting into too much of the details, under the stimulus relief bill, you are able to deduct more of your charitable contributions for your taxes. That means essentially you'll be able to deduct more and be able to make more money. Typically, you're only able to deduct 60% of your adjusted gross income, but they waived that and now you can adjust more for how much you donate. So just talk to your accountant about that, your CPA, and they'll be able to explain how much more you can deduct from your taxes. The seventh way is through student loan relief. Under the stimulus relief bill, all student loan repayments are deferred until September 30th of 2020. If you don't pay anything until September 30th, you can't have any penalties and you can't receive any interest. There's no downside until waiting until September 30th of 2020. And this covers 95% of all student loans. So another thing for student loan relief is if you have to leave school due to the coronavirus for any reason, your student loans will be canceled and any grants you have received, you do not have to return. Another good thing for students is that if your employer pays for anything related to your school, whether that's books or anything, $5,250 worth of what they pay towards your school, whether that's towards your tuition or towards books or whatever, is not going to be taxed. The eighth way is that the federal government cut interest rates to practically zero. This is great for people who are borrowing money, but not great for savers. So if you're a student and you're looking to get a student loan for the 2020-2021 student year, this is great. You'll get better rates. Also, if you have a mortgage or you're a homeowner and you want to refinance your house, this is also good for you and also for credit cards. Your credit card rates might decrease a little bit. So this is a great time because you're not gonna get as much interest payments for your credit card and you could pay that off a little bit faster. The ninth way is that they ease taxes on taking money out of your retirement plans. So if you need money right now and you have money in a 401k or IRA, you can take that money out up to $100,000 today and be taxed 10% on it. You'd be hit with that 10% tax. However, you can get out of this 10% tax. If you have the virus, the 10% is waived. Another way is that this 10% can be deferred for up to three years. So typically you'd have to pay a lot higher tax rate on taking money out of your IRA or 401k or any sort of retirement plan. But right now you only have to pay a 10% tax on it. And if you have the virus, you can waive that fee altogether or you can, de you can defer paying the taxes for three years. The 10th way is you can pay $0 on your home mortgage for a year. Yeah, that's right. So all you have to do to be able to pay $0 on your mortgage and you can't be you know, penalized or have any additional interest, you don't have to pay anything. But all you have to do in order to get this is you have to apply and tell them how you're struggling financially due to COVID-19 and the coronavirus. And initially they'll grant you 180 days where you do not have to pay it. And if you still need it, assistance after 180 days, you can apply for it again after 180 days. So that's a total of one year where you would only have to pay $0 on your mortgage. The way is that they removed RMDs, which are required minimum distributions. Once you reach the age of 72, you are required to take out a certain amount of money every single month from your retirement accounts. However, because of the coronavirus and in this bill, there are no minimum amounts. You don't have to take out any specific amount, whatever you want. You can take out zero, you can take out as much. It does not matter. So the 12th and final way is qualified investment purchases, which is QIP. And in this bill, if you own a lot of real estate, whether that's commercial or residential, essentially if you're rich and own a lot of real estate, this can help you a lot because you'll be able to write off more of your expenses related to real estate. You can carry over any more losses. You're able to just have a couple more benefits by owning real estate in how you file your taxes and how you carry over certain losses and receive benefits from it. So anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. This was a long one, long video, but there are a lot of ways that you could actually get free money from the government during the stimulus relief bill. And I wanted to make sure to cover all of them. So we just went over the basics of each way. I didn't try and go too much into detail, but if you like more information, just make sure to like the video down below, leave a comment, ask any specific questions you have about any of the 12 ways, and I'll get, be sure to answer you. So anyways, please 
subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.